Hey everybody, my name's Angie Batiste. I'm from Aquinas College on the Gold Coast and we are continuing on with um, some of our best practice on OneNote and ways to best get the most out of your OneNote in pushing work and content out to the students. So today I'm going to be talking specifically about incorporating some student choice into your worksheets and accounting for a bit of differentiation um, to account for some of the different learning needs and different levels kids might be at, specifically with their questions and the questioning and the cognitive verbs used in some of those questions. So I'm going to share my screen now and go straight into my OneNote. Now just a quick bit of background. I've for a little while now been really wanting to incorporate differentiation student choice into my OneNotes. I've been evolving my OneNotes over time, but feel like it's lacked that a little bit. Um, I find creating worksheets is obviously quite standardized and pushing the same kind of question out to students. So I've started quite small and I'm looking to really very much build on this as time goes on. But I've come up with in a year nine HBE topic that recently sort of remolded and put together is a series of challenge questions. So based on each topic, there was a series of challenge questions associated with that set up in a separate page. And the idea was that students get to choose between one of three questions. Now set up as a gold, silver and bronze style setup. Bronze being the easiest question, silver being slightly harder and gold being a bit more of a challenging question. Now you can even see from some of the cognitive verbs and the type of question and what's expected from the student in each of the question, it does progressively get harder as you go on. So at the bronze level, you've got list some of the possible harms associated with ejecting drugs. As we're looking at a list question, not the very much higher order thinking questions yet. Number two, our silver range suggests reasons why drugs are often given street or slang names. So they're making a suggestion. So they're having to think a little bit about now. And our gold level is evaluate the physical or mental health effects you think would most likely discourage a young person from using these drugs. So even just the word evaluate is a slightly higher order thinking skill than their list or suggest. Not to mention there's a bit more to that question, a bit more to think about. So the kids now have the choice. They get to choose one of these. So they can choose to go easy and to go at the bronze level. They can try to challenge themselves and move towards that silver or the gold. But the best thing I like about it is the kids have that bit of choice and they love choice. They love being able to choose what they do. And it allows for students at different levels, if they don't quite understand the concept and evaluate the physical or mental health, that's a bit beyond them. They can sort of go for that gold, that bronze or silver range. The other cool thing I like to do is using my emojis, which I do talk about in another one of our episodes, is based on whatever the students do. When I'm reviewing the students work, I go through and add um, whatever emoji they went for. If they've gone for the gold, I give them a, a number one or a gold medal. In the next one, they may have gone for the silver medal. And here they may have gone for another gold medal as well. Okay, so whatever question they've challenged, they've decided to go for, whether they've answered it, you know, amazingly or not is irrelevant. I find it's a really good way to, even before, without having to click on any of these pages, I already know what questions these kids are attempting and I can start to get over the term or over the unit an idea of where the kids are at. It might be that one of my really good kids I'm starting to notice he is always choosing the bronze option. OK, so he's more than capable of choosing and doing the, the gold options, but he may be being a bit lazy. OK, or it may be that one of the kids that you think is maybe one of your lower kids is actually really making the effort to go ahead and try the gold medals or the silver medals, okay? Really making that extra effort. And maybe that opens up, you know, a conversation, a pat on the back, that sort of stuff. They're really going out of their way to try and do the best that they can. I obviously match up our learning and success criteria to match up with the gold, silver, and bronze as well. Um, but I find it's, for me, it's a starting point. I'm gonna look at incorporating a bit more into work, uh, more worksheets rather than just its own individual one-off worksheet. I find it is hard without creating, you know, three questions for every question, which is just three times the workload. Uh, subjects like mathematics, I know like my colleague Richo um, does and teaches, it's a little bit easier to sort of have clear, uh, clear different levels in mathematics of level of difficulty. I find it a bit hard with just sort of written questions, but for me, this is a starting point and I'm pretty happy with it. And the kids seem to enjoy that level of student choice and the ability to, you know, find a question that's at their level. All right, so 
that's it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Ciao.